Uh, our last panelist is Ann Sullivan, and she is an assistant professor of digital media in the School of Literature, Media, and Communication at Georgia Tech. She directs the Storycraft Research Lab, and her research focuses on playful and storied interactive experiences from a feminist and humanist perspective with an emphasis on computational and traditional craft. And I can't resist also mentioning that Anne is an alumna of UC Santa Cruz and that we're extremely proud of her. So please take it away, Anne. Thank you, Catherine. All right, um, I'm going to share my screen. Um, so yeah, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, my research in games and HCI. Um, and to give you a little quick background, um, my where I come from is fairly uh, varied. So I am a coder. I have a PhD in computer science. Um, I was my PhD was in creating AI for playful um, for supporting play and stories, specifically giving the player more choices um, in the the story in the game. I've also been a game designer, develop a uh, game developer, and I am currently a game player. <laughs> um, and I worked at at Electronic Arts, which Catherine mentioned earlier. Um, and when I was there, I focused mostly on UI and AI, so user interface and artificial intelligence. Um, and then I'm also a professional designer and illustrator. Um, and I've spent a lot of time thinking about how to communicate through um, visual design and how that affects user experience. And then finally, I am a, a crafter. Uh, I'm an award-winning quilter. Um, and so you may look at this and think, okay, what does all of this have to do with each other? But a lot of my research is actually guided by these different um, aspects of what I'm interested in. Um, and so I do end up focusing primarily on these playful, um, playful and storied interactive experiences. And that could be games, creative, um, uh, creativity support tools uh, or educational um, applications. So I wanted to give um, one example of how these can work together, specifically around crafting, which plays such a big role in my research, um, partly because uh, crafting is a playful interactive experience. Uh, it engages in creativity. It um, historically has been storied for centuries. Um, people have been telling stories through textiles and other craft forms. And it's also very often overlooked um, in STEM education. Um, and so with Luminary, what I was um, really looking at is um, how can we create experiences that give voices, give voice to people that um, don't currently have voice in games. Um, in particular, uh, also, can we find a way to make their stories that they are making in these game situations tangible, um, you know, and have a tangible artifact when they're done playing, which captures their choices in the game? Um, so Luminary was made uh, in collaboration with Dr. Josh McCoy, um, Sarah Hendricks, and Bree Williams. And um, together we created this gaming experience, which is a digital game, uh, and it is narrative based, it's, done, uh, it's made in Twine, but you control the game using that rigid huddle tabletop loom that you see in front of you uh, are on these slides. So each of the options in the game has a color associated with it, and to choose that option in the game, you weave with that color. So if I wanted to choose uh, in this screenshot, uh, peek outside through the arches, I would weave with that maroon, um, the maroon yarn that is on top of the loom in the picture. And by doing that, I'm actively, the player or myself, whoever's playing is actively creating and weaving an artifact, um, either cloth or if you play long enough, a scarf that has your personal choices um, that you made in the game woven into this piece. And it would be unique to you and your playthrough. And so we were very fortunate in that we were able to show uh, Luminary at the Smithsonian during the um, Sam Arcade. This, um, and we, we noticed a few interesting things when we were there. Um, so the, the arcade went on for a weekend. There were 20,000 people that came through. 
And by and large, um, it was fascinating because normally when we show games, uh, there's a tendency for the men to step forward and play while the women will tend to stand back and watch before they'll come in and interact with the games. And here it was completely opposite. Uh, we had women coming um, like really drawn to the game and they were often sharing stories about their families um, and their experiences with craft and weaving in particular. And then, um, you know, it was, it was the men who were very hesitant to step forward. And so we thought this was uh, particularly interesting because um, we, know, we found that by um, integrating underexplored interactions that are familiar with underrepresented groups, we can give voice to those who um, have previously been silenced through these other types of interactions. So um, that is uh, what I want to say. So thank you so much. And uh, thank you, Catherine. Yeah, that was great. Um, 